guys, it's Dawn here. Um, today we're going to do very minimal uh, tack for riding. So I'm going to do bareback and I'm going to use our rope halter, um, rope riding, rope halter, rope riding bridle. I don't know what it's called. It's basically a rope halter. It's made by um, not just rope. And uh, this is a design that she made for me. And we tried out different ones, but um, basically this is an adjustable ring. So you can adjust this ring to go high or low. And then there is a keeper knot at the bottom to make sure that it doesn't go all the way down. And that sets it. And I like it all the way down because once again, I like this setup because then it's like a hackamore. So basically I expect um, my horse to respond to this and to this and then oh you see he turned um and then that that is like okay <clears throat> if you ignore if you ignore this and you ignore this then we're gonna go down to here and it is a rope so um i have nothing fancy you can get all different things you know different knots or whatever on here mine is just a plain nose band plain on top and then i did tie it so that uh, when you tie it like this then it cannot tighten on to itself so i have that and then just um your your uh classic a knot over here but I just doubled it up so there's two of them just so that I don't have a long tail uh, flapping around but whoa but basically that's what it looks like so very very simple um, but effective and still has um, still has that hackamore action it's not that side pull because the thing with the side pull is when it's first off it's up here your signal is up high which makes it a little weird. I like my signal down low, which is also easier for the horse to understand because if, especially if they came from a bit, then down low and the signal comes from down here, then they're like, oh, okay. Um, up here you get into bone and cartilage and stuff like that. I don't know. It just seems a lot more dull to have the signal up here. Plus, remember how I like that leverage thing? So, and not, not leverage, um, lever. And not because the lever gives leverage so much, but it does, but more because this I have, I have zero, I have one, two, three. See, I have different degrees so, um, so that he knows. With the side pole, it's not as clear because when you're straight attached to here, you basically are then, let me see if I can illustrate. So basically it would be like, okay, uh, zero and then one. I guess you can go like that, but I don't know. Hopefully you know what I mean. This, this is very, very clear. It's like zero, one, two, three. You know, you have different degrees that you can go. And I expect him to operate all in this. Um, this range. If I have to start putting any kind of force, then 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 I start getting angry, and then I start, you know, okay, go back to training, go back to the basics. You need to just be responding to this. Actually, I mean, and then you go, oh well, you know, that's not a lot. But no, no, no. I mean, he's already responding from my seat, legs, voice, um, breath, all of those, and then I go to this. So. If he's ignoring, you know, that, then, I mean, he's ignoring a lot. In fact, I don't really use the reins to stop. It's more like how fast I want you to stop. So I'm going to say, whoa, right? But then from how I say it, you can tell how fast I want you to stop. So that's one indication. But the other indication would be like, if I go, whoa, and I go like that, that means stop right away. If I go, whoa, and I'm like this, then it's like, okay, you can, you know, you can take your time to stop. It's not that big a deal. It's not that we're not in any rush sort of thing. All right. So there you go. Hope that helps. That's a, just another option um, that you can do. Okay. Bye guys.